Welcome to Trend Spotting on JSA TV. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here with the iMasons Global Member Summit in Silicon Valley. Let's take a listen to some of the trending topics on the floor today. Tell us a little bit about Salute Mission Critical. We started Salute Mission Critical in 2013 to really solve the problem of veteran unemployment and underemployment. At that time, if you look at the stats, a 25 to 30 year old person had done their tour of duty, probably a couple of combat tours, they've come back, they're trying to integrate into society, and more than 25% of them were unemployed. That didn't make any sense to me. It was counterintuitive with all of the training and the leadership skills that they had gained in the military. I knew that there was an opportunity here to help the data center industry, which is also suffering an enormous personnel shortage. Mm -hmm. Not just unemployment, but underemployment is impacting veterans because many of them will come back and there's great companies out there that will hire them. But I believe that in our industry, we get so much more potential out of the veterans than having them stock shelves, deliver sandwiches or pizzas. Veterans, I think, are a key ingredient to the long-term sustainability of this industry because if we can grow and train them into the industry, we'll see a more disciplined workforce, we'll leverage all of the training that they've gone through in the military, and I think that everybody, all boats will rise. So that's why we've been very strong on this and pushing it, because we've now built this company over the last five years. We're operating in five countries, over 265 employees, and have put over 1,200 veterans through this program. So that's introducing them into this industry. So we're having an impact on lives in ways that people don't even realize. 12% of the workforce that we hire are homeless at the time. So we're impacting not just the veterans, but their families as well. So I'm real excited with where we're at today and with the partnership here with IM and with Edge Connects. And that leads us really to this wonderful case study, if you will. We have Randy Brockman here, of course, an iMasons member, but also the CEO of Edge Connects. Randy, pleasure to have you here. And can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with uh, Salute? Thank you for having us. Uh, our partnership with Salute started in 2014, the early part of 2014. And I think it's safe to say it's been a both fruitful and successful partnership for both, for both companies. Um, I got a lot to say, and I only got a little bit of time to say it in uh, when it comes to Salute. Uh, but I think, look, this feels good on a lot of reasons. This is the right thing to do for these people. This is the right thing to do socially. But quite frankly, this has been a brilliant business decision as well. What we found with, the, with Salute and in our partnership is we are getting training together with the Salute team, people who are really disciplined who actually thrive in the training environment, who want detailed training, who actually help you construct better training. And it's been interesting to see uh, over the course of what, six years now, five, six years now, we've been doing this together. Um, we've been able to see a number of folks start maybe in the security operations, but move up into some of the technical and remote hands operations. So they've been able to evolve as frankly, our customers' needs have continued to evolve. Lee mentioned it briefly, but we actually work with Salute, not just in the United States, but across the globe. And I think the, the ultimate culmination where some of this has resulted in is that some of these uh, folks that we've started with with Salute and trained and actually trained on higher skill positions have become very critical to our operations. Salute's worked with us on converting them to Edge Connects employees. And quite frankly, we've been able to then create a class of the next uh, set of folks for Salute to come through. And we've done that across three continents now as well. So it's been a wonderful partnership. What you started and what you saw was absolutely needed on the social level. It was needed from an industry level. And I can tell you it's been a great business relationship as well. Thank you. Joining me here today, I'm very excited to have Dr. Julie Albright, the author of the just released book, Left to Their Own Devices, How Digital Natives Are Reshaping the American Dream. And I really, I just found this book so fascinating and touching on things that are so hyper relevant today. Uh, we're talking about folks who are engaging in this untethered living. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, so that's the main cornerstone of the book is the idea that we're coming untethered. Young people, particularly digital natives, are unhooking from things that uh, other generations did routinely. Things like getting married or buying a home or having children or staying at a job for 35 years that people would do all the time. 
and instead they are hyper attached to digital technologies and I'm looking at the difference that makes growing up digital or as a young adult or when you're in the workforce what changes are happening as a result of unplugging from these stabilizing social structures and kind of building your house on sand in a way uh, where you're hyper attached and, and always on to things like social media and Instagram for example. And that's a wrap, guys, from the floor of the iMasons Global Member Summit in Silicon Valley. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, and this is Trendspotting. Next event you can find us is the Telecom Exchange. That's May 14th through the 15th at W. Hoboken. More info at thetelecomexchange.com. Until then, guys, happy networking. <laughs>